What is up guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Schmoobly and I am here to bring you the best content possible. If you are on the hunt for the M13B and are having trouble unlocking it, you came to the right place. Currently the M13 is only unlocked through the DMZ mode in MW2, but who knows if they will put some sort of paywall behind it for those of you who do not play DMZ. If that is the case, then everyone will get the chance to get it, regardless if you play DMZ or not. Until then, this is the only option, but in my opinion, I kind of like the aspect of having different guns unlockable in DMZ only. Before we get started, if you guys are new around here, go ahead and tell me down below in the comments what you guys think of the game so far and what you would like to see changed. As for MW2, Warzone 2, and DMZ content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be sure to leave a like and let's get started. If we take a look at the locked M13, it says the only way to currently unlock it is by defeating the chemist in the radiation zone in DMZ and extracting with the weapon. Now, if you don't know what DMZ is, let's get a little background on it. As MW2 describes, DMZ is an open world, narrative focused extraction mode where operators have free reign to complete faction based missions, take on additional side objectives, engage with enemy players or AI, and search for valuable items all while fighting to survive toward exfiltration. Essentially, you spawn into a random part of Almazra with what seems to be around 60 or so players who are all trying to collect the valuables while performing tasks and escaping before dying or the time limit ends. Your operator is equipped with a backpack that holds anything from weapons and equipment to cash and other items that can be used to buy items at the shops. You do need to be sure to be taking items that you want to extract because your backpack only holds around five items. Now, one thing you do need to look out for is those enemy players. As of right now, it looks like there is only one spawn of the M13B, so that means that anyone in the same lobby as you is essentially trying to get the one thing you are looking for, so do not hesitate to get what you came for. If you think about it, they just did all the hard work for you, now they have became a bounty and you are hunting them so that you can get the M13 off their loot and extract without ever having to deal with the chemist. On the flip side, if you are the one that defeats the chemist and gets the M13, you will need to extract successfully because if you die with any sort of loot in your inventory, it will be lost. So this is one thing to consider, especially with the M13 in your pocket. Now there is a cheeky way to get the M13 without killing the chemist and without killing enemy players holding that M13, but you will need to stick around until the end of the video to find out. The next thing you need to worry about is the chemist. He will stand out because he is wearing that bright yellow hazmat suit. This is the guy who you need to defeat in order to get that health hazard M13B. When it comes to the chemist, he is basically a juggernaut style AI with lots of armor. So you need to loot up and try your hand at defeating him, but make sure you come guns a blazing and with a few buddies. Once you defeat the chemist, it is not over from there. If you have not gotten a gas mask out this time, this is where the problem ensues because you will start taking radiation damage. This would be the time to use a self res if you happen to have gotten one at the shop around El Mazra. But my brother and I found out you don't have much time to shop because everyone is rushing to get the one and only M13 from the chemist. So that is something you will have to make a decision about. Looting and gearing up or just trying to rush in and be the first one there. The next thing you need to know about is the radiation zone. It will be a zone marked on your tack map and it is basically hazardous gas. So if you can find or purchase the gas mask, that would be your best option. Right when you enter into the radiation zone, there should be a white gas mask that pops up on screen. This means the chemist is still there and has the M13. If this does not pop up, that means the chemist is not there and someone else beat you to it. After hours of loading into DMZ with my brother, there is plenty for me to tell you. Vehicles are your friend, so use them as much as possible. We happened to spawn at a great location where we got a truck and we were closest to the chemist, so we booked it. We happened to find another vehicle on the way because two is better than one. We found this to be the best way to defeat the chemist because of how strong him and the AIs are. Be sure to watch closely where you run over the chemist because the M13 will drop where he got hit, not where he flew to. I can't tell you how loud we were yelling at each other because in that time it was just a panic to get the hell out of there. The extraction zone should be pretty easy to spot. It will also be on your tack map and it will be marked by green smoke. Run up to the smoke and call on the chopper and prepare for a firefight. 
you will need to defend yourself against AI and also any enemy players lurking around the corner. Luckily, we were close to an exfil and didn't see any players other than AI. But remember, if you die before extracting, that M13 is no longer yours. Now the problem with doing this with a buddy is that only the person who extracts with the weapon in their inventory receives that weapon. So the way we found it easiest to get the M13 without defeating the chemist or any other players is by making sure you have that M13 in your loadout. I made sure to ensure mine just in case because it is DMZ and you never know what can happen. Now, in order to get your buddy this M13, it is best to load back into a game of DMZ with this in your inventory. But remember, this is still able to be lost while inside DMZ, so you still need to be cautious and get out of there as soon as possible. This is a pretty simple step to get that M13 to your buddy, but who knows if they will patch this so that everyone either has to extract it or do it themselves. Not really sure what they're going to do there, um, but for now, th this works. Um, also, once you give up that M13 and your buddy extracts with it, you no longer have that blueprint. So it is basically like a chain. You extract, you give it to your buddy, then he has it and he gives it to his buddy and so on and so forth. So remember, once you have it and you pass it on, you no longer have that. So make sure you have that in your inventory when you leave or before you give it to your buddy. I'm sure there will be more weapons that are exclusive to DMZ, and I think it's a great aspect that is fresh and new to Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty in general. If this video has helped you learn a little bit about DMZ and how to extract the M13, please let me know by smashing that like button and leaving a comment on what else you would like to see when it comes to anything Call of Duty. Again guys, this has been Shmoogly, and I appreciate you guys sticking around to the end. Have a good day, and remember, keep your head up and focus. Peace.